remember everybody, if you're watching the broadcast, you can submit your questions in either straight on the website at livingontop.info or you can also tweet them using hashtag LOTCB for Living on Top with Chris Bridges. We also have a new Facebook page, which is also uh, facebook.com forward slash LOTCB. So connect with us there as well. So the question for today on Chat with Chris is, how do I protect myself from fraud during the holiday season? So the question this week is how do I protect myself from fraud during the holiday season? Which is a great question. I've actually done several talks um, leading up into this holiday season about how you can do such a thing. So let's talk about the first thing I would say. And I know today is the 23rd, you got a few more shopping days. So be mindful of the type of, uh, the, you know, what type of, credit cards you're using. Make sure that the best protection, not to say that debit cards and or credit cards are either one or more protected than the other from fraud, but credit cards give you a level of protection that debit cards don't. Because if your credit cards are compromised, you at least have 30 days before the next billing cycle to go back and forth and deal with your credit card provider. And most of them, of course, if you tell them that you were a victim of fraud, will be able to um, reverse those charges. However, if you're using your debit card when you're out shopping and someone hacks into your bank, they just got all of your money. So yes, the bank does protect you. We're all protected under FDIC rules. However, you know, it's one thing to go and get your money back. It's another thing to not get your money taken at all. So debit cards were not really protected at all. And this uh, pertains to both a debit card and a credit card that's attached to your bank account that says the word credit. From this perspective, it's really the same thing. So just make sure that you're using a credit card not attached to your bank account to give you the best protection. And then of course, make sure that you're monitoring your credit during the holiday season. So make sure you're monitoring it in December. You better watch it in January and watch it again in February. And really just get in the habit of looking at your accounts, not just your credit, but your bank account statements as well, credit card statements as well. So just monitoring all of your activity. Uh, making sure that, you know, you may also look in back and say what you've spent for this year and may need to make some adjustments. So if monitoring may be a good thing or it may make some of you all really sad. But you want to make sure that you're monitoring. So if you were, for some reason, um, a victim of any type of fraud in the holiday season, if you are monitoring it, you'll be able to catch it sooner. Okay, remember, anybody can take your money. And if you're not watching, they can take it and keep it. So make sure that you're monitoring. Those two quick things I would say that you can do. And of course, also, as we're going into this holiday, day season and we're in it remember the reason for the season enjoy your family and don't worry about you know spending or shopping I often say divorce yourself from the opinions of others and just enjoy the season to be with family and friends and if you don't have it don't spend it so there's your answer on chat with Chris again if you've got a question you want to submit to us to uh, respond to on the air just submit it right to us on Twitter using hashtag LOTCB or go to the website live livingontop.info and you can submit your questions right there on the form. So thank you so much for that.